Alright, what's up YouTube? This is a soldering video. It's a bit unusual to have on my channel, but it's just for uh, putting... I got a dynamite lipo. This is exactly the same as my two other lipos, but it has a Dean's plug, and I like Traxxas plugs. And the other two have Traxxas plugs, so I'm going to have to switch these plugs, and I'm going to show you a video on soldering that. Now, this is going to be a shorter video. But it's still kind of a lesson for soldering. Now what you need is a soldering iron. This is a cheap one. It was about $25. 40 watt. Uh, you're going to need solder. I like rosin, rosin core. It's 40% uh, rosin, 60% lead. Well, I'm not sure how it works, but 40-60 is what you have to remember. You can use a little, this is like copper wire to pull off old solder. Now anyways, uh, you're going to need little pliers. You might need them. You don't really need it. Uh, some sponge to wipe off solder off of this iron. And some ruby flux. Now you don't need this, but I like to keep this. This um <clears throat> makes it so the when you solder, it won't oxidize and it makes a better connection. <clears throat> now the first thing I'm gonna have to do is pull these plugs off. All right, actually, what I'm gonna do is just cut it off. This is taking too much time when it shouldn't but just is there we go just like that now at this point there's two things you can do you can either burn off the thing or just strip it off I'm gonna strip it off now I don't have a wire stripper but the a wire stripper is a lot easier The negative now I gotta do or that's the positive now I gotta do the negative. Looks like this battery's been run through some water. I haven't used it yet, but I see some slight corrosion. Okay, I stick this straight into the flux. And then, whatever is excess, I just wipe off. Alright, just like that. Alright, I finally got one wire done and I covered it up so I don't short any anything out. And I'm gonna do the other one right now. Now, this is a low power iron, so this is gonna take time. Make sure I'm gonna sand this off. This is just uh, is a better contact point. 
Then I'm gonna put some solder on here. Hopefully y'all can see. But if this were tinned, it would be a lot easier for me. Actually, you know, put some solder straight onto this connector. And some on here. And then now I just gotta put this on there. Now these wires get hot very quick, so it might be a little shaky. And there it is. Um, this one surprisingly went a lot better than the other one. There they are. This connection is better than this one, but if I would have had a better iron, it would have been a lot better. So. Now all I gotta do is slip these on. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I just got uh, some sh heat shrink tubing. I'm gonna get about a centimeter, two pieces each, about a centimeter. Just cut them like that. And you're also going to need a lighter. You have to take this heat shrink tubing off that I pre-applied, but I have to take it off because it got so hot and it basically melted. Anyways, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, you just slide it on. Always slide it on before you put these little plugs into the connector. Okay, red goes into the positive one. And then the black's gonna go into the negative. But, I'm not doing that yet. Because first I gotta see if they they fit. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, this one's gonna struggle. Actually, it fits perfect. Nah. Okay. I figure out okay now you just put the heat shrink on and then you melt it slowly <laughs> I think it's quarter inch heat shrink tubing that I have I'm not sure Okay, now this is going to be a tighter fit with the heat shrink, but it should still fit. Okay, that fit. Now for this one, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Alright, this is a bit too thick to fit in here. So, I'm, I'll am i have to... Uh, I'm gonna sand some of this off. Hopefully the connection doesn't get bad when I do this. Okay, 
I just used pliers and adjusted it, which I don't like to do that because it might make the joint weaker. Now I'm gonna do heat shrink. Okay, now this goes into the negative, just like that. I'm going to have to make sure these click in place. Every time I solder the Traxxas plugs, the original ones, the genuine Traxxas plugs, I can't push them in all the way. I don't think, I'm not sure if it's because of how I soldered it, but it never works for me. So gonna figure out how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna poke it in there. Yep, that does not want to go in there anymore. So, uh, must have been my soldering, but anyways, that's it. That's how you solder. Now, if y'all want a video on soldering wires, I can do that, but... <laughs> okay, that's it for the video now. Hope this helped y'all with soldering, and peace.